I've got a stacked washer and dryer that's going to fit in that opening where that bifold door is. And uh, it'll fit in there. It's really tight though, so I didn't want to damage this bifold door. So I need to get it out of here. So I thought I'd show you a few things on how to remove a bifold door. The first thing I have to do in order to remove this bifold door is I'm going to have to lift it up. There's a bottom bracket down there and there's a foot piece that's hold, held down there. So I have to lift that up. But uh, I've got to kind of take a look at this here first. Because usually what I do is uh, this little, this little uh, wheel is on a spring-loaded catch here. So I should be able to push that down. And what I try to do is pull this section out. But it's not coming because, see this trim up here? I'm going to give you a little lesson here. This piece of trim shouldn't have been that tall. Now it's nice to have it there because when this is closed, that hides the edge of your rail. But in order to get this out now, it's hard to, to get that because see it's hitting right there. I can't get it out. And if it's right there, it's still hitting. So what to do about that? You have any ideas how we're going to do this? I can't raise it up very high either because with this trim here, they have this raised up. So there's about an eighth of an inch between that and this here. So I'm going to have a hard time lifting this up. Hmm, what to do? Well, there's a way to do it. Think about it. What would you do? Okay, there's two ways that I can take this door off. Yes, two different ways at this point, even with this being there, okay? Now I can open this up just about all the way, and this is still hitting here. But because I've got this door opened up almost this whole way, now I can kind of tilt it down just a little bit and see if I can sneak this out. You see it's hitting right there. I can't get it, but if I push down on it a little bit, and, and this just kind of gives a little, you know? Ooh, gotta be careful there. See? I got that. Gotta be careful so you don't mess that up. Now, for me to raise this up, it's still gonna hit here, isn't it? So how am I gonna do that? See, usually there's a, there's a bigger gap right here. And the thing is, because this trim is so tall, this spring-loaded catch at the back side that holds into this bracket um, would be too low. So if I were to lower this door down, this top catch wouldn't go in there all the way. So, you know, they kind of put me in a little pickle here. They've got it raised up off the floor pretty high. So, in first thought, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it this way because I have to lift it up high enough up over the bottom there, and it's going to hit that. So, what am I going to do about that? What would you do there? Well, I'm going to show you a few things here, because I want you to know how to remove these the proper way. Okay, what to do, what to do. Because, see, this here, I could grab that and try to lower it down. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I can do that. It's off, but I still can't get it out of here. You know, I could slide this down like that at an angle and try to get it that way, but I might start rubbing the wall. So, you know, that's one way you could do it. Let's say you've already got the washer and dryer in there, okay? Let's just do it, shall we? Because if you've got the washer and dryer in here, you can't do it the other way that I was going to show you. All right, so let's just make believe the washer and dryer is in there. All right, okay. I grab that with my fingers and pull it down. Now I gotta swivel this down away from the wall. Now I can push this back up like that. Okay, now I can swivel it down about that far. Now I can raise it up off of the bottom hinge like that. And be careful with it 
You want to start banging up your walls at this point because you're not done until you get this safely removed. Okay. That wasn't too bad. That worked out pretty good. Well, now that you got it out, basically you're going to put it back up the very same way. Okay, be careful. You know what? I told you I was going to show you two different ways to remove this bifold door, didn't I? Well, the second way, and I'm just going to talk to you briefly about this. If your washer and dryer was not in this opening, and uh, if you can't slide it down at the angle that way, Instead of trying to take this wheel out this way, you can move it to the back like that, see? Now you can swivel this whole door that way. Now you can raise it up off of there and angle this door down this way. You know, the top um, will be stationary, lift it up, pull the bottom of the door out this way, and then the top of the door will then drop back that way and you can bring it out. Okay, that's if your washer and dryer is not there. Most of the time, your washer and dryer is going to be there, isn't it? So, you know how to get it off now, don't you? You're going to keep it just like that. Pop the top off there and swivel it down this way, lift it, and you're good to go.